Hey humans, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, I do videos on creepy and disturbing things. And I am like super nervous for today's video. I don't really know why. I think it's just because it's something a little bit different than what I normally do. And I'm not sure if y'all are gonna like it or not. So today we are going to start our series on the do not research iceberg. I did not make this iceberg. All credit goes to this user on Reddit, but I did DM the creator on Reddit and ask them if they would be okay with me making a video about their uh, creation. And they said, yeah, go ahead. So here we are. Am I going to regret this? Possibly. Am I gonna do it anyway, since I will do a lot of things if I think it will make a great video? Yes. Icebergs, if you don't know, are simply a category of things that are put in iceberg format. The top tiers of the iceberg being the most well-known or commonly known parts of that category. And it goes all the way down to the bottom tier, which is basically the depths of the deepest hell. And it's the way lesser known and usually gets more and more disturbing as you go down. This particular category of iceberg is dedicated to things that you should not research or things that you should not Google. And this is why I might regret making this video because even the first tier gets pretty gnarly. There are seven total tiers in this iceberg with an eighth bonus tier at the bottom. That's just a joke tier. So I don't really need to go into depth on that one. In this first video, this part one, I'm actually only doing tier one because because I did all the research for tier one and it was a already a very long video. So as we go on part two, I'll make tier two. And then if the tiers are a little smaller, I will combine tiers in subsequent videos. Now, that being said, just a warning to everybody, given the subject matter of this video, obviously there's not a lot of photos that I can show you. However, a lot of these things we're gonna be talking about are still gross and still disturbing. So if you are gonna get grossed out easily, feel free to either skip around, I will put timestamps below, or skip this video altogether. Now, as for doing the iceberg itself on YouTube with their very, very strict terms of service and their high preference for family-friendly content only, I obviously cannot use all the words and uncensor this video completely. I will be explaining everything in this tier so that you understand what it is without being super explicit. That means if a photo is explicit, I obviously can't show it, I'm really sorry. And then words that are bad, such as S word, K word, I will use sensors like that, or I will put a uh, censored version of the word up on the screen while I'm saying it so that y'all understand what is going on and everything in this iceberg without actually having to go and research it yourself. You're welcome. So almost done with the intro, I promise just one last little thing for legal purposes. I do not recommend you actually go and Google any of this stuff. That's why you're watching this video. I'm doing it. I did it for you. If you do choose to, I am not the one that told you to do so. You can do that at completely your own discretion and your own risk. Okay, let's get started. So like I said at the beginning, the first highest tier are usually the most common, well-known things in that category. So you probably at least have heard of a lot of these. The first one, we're starting off strong here, is one man, one jar. Also frequently known as one guy, one cup, as it's shared around the internet. And before you ask, ask, yes, I did watch this video. So it is believed that this particular video originated in Russia and it was filmed by a middle-aged man by himself in his home. As the name implies, there is a jar involved. The video is of said man squatting over a jar on camera and inserting the jar in a place where a jar shouldn't be. That is shocking enough for the average Joe However, the video gets about a thousand times worse when on camera, unexpectedly, the jar breaks. The rest of the video is the aftermath of that. It is absolutely disgusting. It looks like a crime scene. It's horrifying. And at most, I would say, if you have never seen this video, 
just be happy that you haven't. And I would say the most you should ever do is go watch a reaction video because there's lots of reaction videos to this video on YouTube and those are kind of funny. Now, as for the man himself, what a lot of people don't know, he did actually survive, he was fine, and no, he never even went to the hospital. The man in the video goes by Alex, and a few sources actually have been able to interview him. He's been married twice and currently married. He has two children, and his family does not know about this little side hobby of his. And yes, this is a hobby that this particular video of his hobby just went wrong. And apparently they were elsewhere in the house when he was filming this. And that is why he doesn't scream in the video because he didn't want them to hear it. They don't know about it. He just recovered on his own. And he said it took a total of about two weeks to stop hurting so bad. How he kept this from his wife, I have no idea. Next on our list is two girls, one cup. And I'm sure most of you have at least heard of this and most of you probably know about what happens in this particular one. This is an adult film video. Now, most of the things on this list, I did actually go make sure I saw the video or what have you or the photo or actually experienced whatever the awful thing was because I didn't feel like I could honestly make this video without seeing it myself. However, this video I didn't watch. I'm really sorry. I have seen bits and pieces of it and I have seen stills photos of the video and I just, I could, I can't, I can't with that one. So if you have never heard of this or you don't know what it is, it's basically shock porn. It's actually a trailer for a full length film called Hungry Bitches. There's this extreme director Mark Fiorthio and he is the one the mastermind behind this film. It is a video of two women that are being sexual together and they also have a cup that the rest of the video involves their own poop and lots of vomiting. Now, I know there are people that are legitimately into this stuff and I just want to be clear that I'm not here to kink shame anyone if that's what you're into, I am not here to yuck anybody else's yum as long as everything is consensual. You know what I mean? But you have to understand that most people are not into this. That's pretty kind of a rare paraphilia to be into that kind of thing. And same for, you know, the one man, one jar thing. There are people that are into that. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just that most people, this would shock them and it would upset them. And it is like, for me, would be, you know, they would vomit themselves if they watched it. The next one on our list is a Serbian film. And I made a video about this way back in the day, actually. And I did see it back then. So didn't feel the need to watch it again. It's an extreme and controversial film made in Serbia. If you do choose to go back and watch my video on this film, just keep in mind that I don't agree with everything that I said in the video now. My opinions have changed since then. And I explained that in my Megan is Missing video, if you are curious about that. But it's not like you need to go watch my video on it to understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's controversial because the plot of the movie revolves around and pretty much every other major, major trigger that you could think of is in this movie. And I don't think anybody needs to see this movie. And I do think it changes you in a way. However, I do understand that people's uh, morbid curiosity gets the better of them sometimes. Just like, obviously, I have seen the movie, so I can't talk. But I would just say, if you are even considering it, I would say make sure, I mean, you have to be like fine with like hereditary, Midsommar doesn't phase you. And then go watch the trailer for this movie. And if that seems okay, go read the Wikipedia for this movie. And if you're still okay, go watch Spooky Rice's video covering this movie. And then if you're still okay, and you still wanna see it after that, then I think you're ready. But obviously warning, even the Wikipedia plot 
page will make you sick. Here's a fun one. The next one is Blue Waffle. Again, I knew what this one was, but in the spirit of this video, I Googled it for y'all and took one for the team. However, I did not know the background about this photo until I researched for this video. And I didn't know this. Did you know that this is actually a complete urban legend and a hoax? So Blue Waffle, also known as Blue Waffle Disease, was a photo of a very blue, very, very messed up looking vagina. It was going around the internet with this story behind it, claiming that this person got their genitals to look like this because of an STI. It's a very gross photo. It turned out to be completely made up and determined that the photo was either photoshopped or it was a picture of genitals that had been mutilated. I think I even saw that Planned Parenthood had to put an article out to debunk these myths. Dolphins is the next one. And it took me a while to figure out why that one was on this list, but then I did figure it out. Basically, everything that most people believe about dolphins the stereotypes about how intelligent, gentle, friendly, and playful they are, apparently that's all a lie. Well, except for the smart part, they are intelligent. But apparently dolphins are like incredibly sexually aggressive and wild dolphins have even been known to be sexually aggressive towards humans. Males in the wild will herd and attack female dolphins and they would do this during mating season and essentially this pack of male dolphins would do to this female dolphin what us humans would consider be. And let's not freak out because remember animals and humans are very different and animals do not have the moral compass and the prefrontal cortex that we do. They act on instincts alone, so let's not anthropomorphize them. However, to us, this is still a very disturbing fact, especially because we think of dolphins as sweet, nice, gentle creatures that just wanna play with humans. The trained ones, maybe the domesticated ones do but in the wild, it's not like that at all. Males are also known in the wild to kill other females' newborns. And they're also known for bullying and sometimes even killing uh, porpoises. Porpoises, it's so hard for me to say that word. I don't know why. And I, I'm sorry, but porpoises are literally the cutest thing on this planet and dolphins will just bully and hurt and sometimes kill them and not eat them or anything. Literally, like seemingly just for fun. Out of all the disturbing things on this list, this one might've messed me up the most. Next is Goatsy. Goatsy or Goatsy.cx was originally just an internet shock site that featured a front page image called hello.jpg. And it's a photo of a man leaning over away from the camera. He has not wearing any clothes and he's using his hands to stretch his rear end part to an uncomfortable and upsetting width. You got me? Okay. Yes, I saw the photo and yes, it's as bad as you're imagining it. Moving right along, gut flora is the next one. And this is another one that I thought was a little bit random, but I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this one is on the list for this reason. So gut flora or its scientific term would be gut microbiota. So first of all, we have over 100 trillion bacteria living in our gut, which is an absolute unimaginable large number. Of course, these bacteria are a necessary part of our immune systems and our health. However, after we die, because we're no longer feeding this bacteria, the bacteria then with no food spread throughout our bodies, spread to our organs, feed on your dying cells and are essentially the first stage of our decomposition. So that's happy. Basically the bacteria we live with all our lives and our bodies turn on us after we die. This is just one of those that makes you uncomfortable because it makes you confront death and the facts of death a little bit too closely. The next two actually, excuse me, as I'm probably gonna laugh again because you should have seen me last night when I was laughing at this. Okay, the first one, do not Google hairless, chimpanzee. I'll actually include a tame version of this one because it is not that offensive or disturbing. It's just like not what you'd expect. It just looks very unnatural. You could see all its muscles and it's just not how we expect monkeys to look at all. But this next one is 
hairless polar bear. This one, I'm not even kidding. I wish I had it on video because I was laughing so hard last night. I started crying and I was at my mom's house and she looked at me like I was crazy and I told her to look it up and she <laughs> proceeded to laugh as well. But she was mostly laughing at me and how hard I was laughing. But this one too, do you guys mind if I include a picture of this one? So it's not actually a polar bear, but the photo that this refers to is a hairless bear. And this is what it looks like. Now, this is what the reference is. I don't recommend actually Googling this one because some other really sad photos come up and not funny or cute at all, but this is the funny one. This is actually a photo of a bear in a German zoo, and the bear is not a polar bear. This bear suffered sudden hair loss in spite of being otherwise healthy. So the bear's fine too. Nobody did anything to it. It's not, it wasn't abused as far as I know or anything like that. It's just something that happened to it and so this photo gets shared around. But please tell me I'm not the only one that laughed at this because it looks like a giant rat and it's so cute. I love it. Okay, we're going back to gross. This next one is how hot dogs are made. Most of us know that this is a disgusting process, but of course for this video I had to watch the clip and the video that this is referring to. And yes, I definitely recommend not watching this. It is absolutely disgusting. Will it stop me from eating hot dogs? Probably not. So traditional hot dogs are made with a combination of pork, beef, and chicken. And it's actually extra parts from the animals that were killed for other pieces of meat. In my opinion, like I'm not talking about the ethics of eating animals here, that aside, because we can't argue that right now, but it is good that we use these extra pieces for other food. Like it would be a waste if we just threw it away. Anyway, all the trimmings of these animals get ground up all together and it ends up in this meat grinder. It gets processed several times and the end result right before it actually gets formed into the hot dog shape is this light brown, mushy, messy blob. It looks absolutely inedible and the video of this is just very gross but the reality of how most of our food is made is gross and we all kind of like to stay naive to it so I do kind of find these particular things fascinating. Okay the next one is the huntsman spider and yes this is referring to a real type of spider but no don't worry anybody who has arachnophobia out there I will not be putting any pictures of it up for you. I did have to endure many pictures of this though. Basically it's a big, scary, and very, very real species of spider. It's literally, and more terrifyingly, it's literally called huntsman spider because of how fast they are and how they hunt. So just to give you an idea of how big they are, on average, their leg span goes to about six inches, and their average body span is about 0.71 inches, which doesn't seem that large, but on a spider, that would be very frightening. They are technically poisonous and they have been known to occasionally bite humans, but they're actually not overall considered dangerous towards humans because the bites rarely even result a trip to the doctor or to the hospital. And people generally recover without a ton of symptoms, usually just a lot of swelling or sometimes you feel sick. But generally these spiders don't go around like any spider, they don't go hunt humans. They're not interested in humans, but they will bite humans if they feel threatened. They're often found in Australia. A lot of the pictures I saw were people taking pictures of them in their houses in Australia, but they are found in several other parts of the world as well. And yes, if you do have any sort of arachnophobia, I wouldn't Google this one. The way their legs are is, yeah. However, if you think spiders are cool, you'll probably think this one's cool. I actually am pretty afraid of spiders, but I was able to handle Googling this one. It Next one, ingrown toenail. This one's pretty self-explanatory. We all know what this is, or at least we've had one, but it's just on the list because it's very gross because photos of it come up and some of them get kind of nasty or infected. So yeah, that one's just kind of gross, but not in particularly shocking. All right, moving right along to this next one. The next one's fun. This one is Lemon Party. And no, it's not a party with lemonade. Lemon Party or LemonParty.org is another shock website that leads you to an image that would upset most people uh, if you're not into that kind of thing. It's specifically three very old men 
in a bed together, all without garments. Two of the men are kissing while the third one is, you know, performing on one of the men. So there was a really popular way of baiting people into going to this website where there were these types of flyers floating around and then it would get people to go to the website thinking they were going to something completely different, which I do find kind of funny. The next one is Lotus Breast. And this one is a huge trigger warning for trypophobia. I won't show the photo of it yet again. However, the description of it may be upsetting. This one was also an old hoax, but the story with this photo was that an anthropologist that came back from South America and discovered a weird rash on her left breast. The rash then developed into pores and sores. And then when she finally went to the right doctor for it, they then found larvae crawling out of some of the sores. The image actually started as just the image without the story behind it. But then of course, as the internet works, it kept getting shared around and this story got attached to it. And you know, people started sending it through emails and scaring each other, women warning other women, yada, yada, yada. But if you look at this photo, it even looks very, very photoshopped. It looks very fake. They likely just took a photo of a breast and then photoshopped a lotus flower onto it. All right, and our next one is Meat Spin. This is yet another shock site with a little video clip that would, uh, the purpose was to shock and disgust people after they clicked on the website that you tricked them into clicking on. The clip is actually, again, from an adult film and it has the song You Spin Me Round by the 1985 band Dead or Alive playing on the background. I wasn't able to find the full video, but I found like a gif of it. And honestly, I'm not sure why this one is shocking or disgusting to a lot of people. I mean, obviously it's not nice to send these kinds of things to people that aren't consenting to see it. I'm not saying that part's okay, but I didn't think this one was shocking. I mean, it's just specifically, it's a loop of a trans woman having sex with a man. And honestly, I think that's a lot of the reason why people send this around because of their internalized transphobia. The next one is Messy Tales. This is a Twitter page that was created at Messy Tales or also known as Brown Nose Pup. It's a furry character that would tweet a lot about their uh, enjoyment for consuming feces. The character that you see in the Twitter profile is a little cartoon furry and it has like brown stains on its nose. After tweeting for a few years, it was confirmed then that Brown Nose had died from the very hobby that he enjoyed doing so much. Again, yeah, this one's pretty gross, but it is just a cartoon and there's no like pretty bad horrifying pictures or anything that go with it. So didn't think this one was too bad, but you eat those words in the next one because the next one is Mr. Hands. This was also known as the Enumclaw horse sex case. This one actually makes me legitimately sad, but probably not for the reasons you're thinking. This one was a man named Kenneth Pinion. He was an engineer and worked and lived a normal life in Washington state. But unfortunately on the side, he was part of a reality tape ring. He and other men were involved in this and it was videos of them receiving sexual acts from a specifically from a stallion that went by the alias Mr. Hands. And then of course they would distribute the tapes. After doing this act on nobody really knows on how many occasions, but something went wrong on one of the occasions and Kenneth ended up dying from internal injuries. Really, I have a hard time feeling bad for Kenneth and the others involved in this one, which I know makes me sound like a total bitch but I feel mostly bad for the animal victims in these cases because I'm sorry, animals can not consent. If the other party cannot consent, then it's not sex, it's SA. I feel bad for Kenneth's family who still lost somebody in their life. I will say that much. The next one is Peter Griffin saves the whale. This was an episode of Family Guy where Peter basically goes crazy with the forklift. And there is this particularly disturbing and super dark scene in this episode where Peter then goes to save a beached whale with his little forklift, but he ends up stabbing the whale instead and he impales it. And then he does it 
like, in, you know how Family Guy, their whole shtick is that they do things that go on for way too long. And he basically does that to the whale until the whale is essentially disemboweled. Even though it's a cartoon, it's still pretty disturbing. And it's worse for me because I don't like Family Guy to begin with. It's just not my type of humor. And so having to look up something like this and see that they did that is just like, I don't know. I think, yeah, I don't... I, at least it's, I mean, I know it's just a cartoon, so at least nobody actually got hurt, but that's just like dark. It's not funny. It's just dark. Pink flamingos. Many of you in the disturbing movie interest realm has probably heard of this one. It's a John Waters 1972 film. It was specifically made to be an exploitative, gross out comedy thing. The film depicts real actual acts, real animal cruelty, and then the infamous scene at the end where one of the actors actually eats dog feces on camera. Again, if you're curious about this movie but don't want to actually watch it, I highly recommend Spooky Rice's video on it because he covers the whole movie very well, but he censors out all the gross parts. All of his disturbing breakdowns are great. I watched, I've watched almost every video on his channel, but I'm just saying if any of these movies pique your interest, but you don't actually want to watch them, he usually has a video and he usually watched it for you. My biggest question about this movie is like, what the heck, John Waters? Like, who hurt you? The next one is Pony Jars. And after looking this one up, I realized I had heard of this one before. This one was a viral thread on 4chan. This user would post pictures of a jar with a My Little Pony figurine in it. And then he would post progress photos over time of the same jar being filled up over time with the user's and then it went even more viral because in November of 2014, he posted an update that he accidentally left the jar on a radiator and it boiled and cooked the contents basically because the photo of the results is disgusting. Okay, the next one is Racist Mario. This is a viral YouTube animation. This is three and a half minutes of my life that I will never get back. This video is literally just Mario in a Mario Kart race with other characters from video game and he is violently killing them all in different ways. As of filming, this video has almost 152 million views on YouTube and 1.4 million likes. Now, I do have a question for YouTube. This video not only has very, very, though cartoons, very graphic depictions of violence, it also has implications of domestic abuse and it has racist slurs in it. How come I so frequently get demonetized or limited monetization or age restricted and many, many other creators around me also deal with the same thing and yet this has been on YouTube for years, has 152 million views, is not age restricted and is fully monetized. What is up with that YouTube? It's just a question. Okay, the next one in this top tier is spoilers. And this is just what it sounds like. It's kind of a joke entry. It's just saying, obviously you don't wanna research, you don't wanna Google spoilers to a TV show, a movie, or a book that you're currently in the middle of reading or you'll get spoilers. Tonsil stones, another pretty simple one, but this is just a medical condition. And yeah, the pictures of it are pretty gross. Tonsil stones are basically when hard bits of debris or bacteria get stuck in like all the crevices of your tonsils in the back of your mouth and they form little stones that often cause you know other symptoms and they're gross that's it moving on tripophobia again for those of you with this phobia i would go ahead and skip to the next one because i'm going to describe this one and i will include a tame photo example of this not one of the really gross ones but i will also warn you before the photo comes up so you can skip over it to a different timestamp. so tripophobia is the fear of repetitive patterns or closely packed 
holes or protrusions. It's not an official mental disorder as of yet, but it has been widely recognized as a legitimate phobia. I've seen it a lot more on social media as of late as well. So for those of you that have no clue what I'm talking about, I'm going to show a photo here very soon. So if you have the phobia, close your eyes or skip to this timestamp on the screen to skip the photo, I will give you a second. Okay, here is a photo of what I'm talking about. If you Google image search this, it's way more upsetting than the photo I showed you because it gets just very, very, it just makes most people pretty uncomfortable. And if you have a phobia, you get incredibly disgusted, if not legitimately fearful. And I don't have this phobia, but I completely understand it. The photos definitely make me uncomfortable. Pub girl. Ah, Tub Girl. Apparently, Tub Girl, Lemon Party, and Goatsy, we already talked about Lemon Party and Goatsy, but apparently those three photos are often referred to on the internet as the quote unquote unholy trinity of internet photos. This is another photo, yet again, featured on a shock website. It is a photo of a woman in a bathtub. She has a mask on. She has, she's facing up and her feet are up by her face. So she's very exposed. And the story behind this photo is apparently this woman had just recently received an enema. And the photo is the aftermath or what happens after you get an enema. It's orange, it's gross. Don't do it, okay? Don't look at this one. All right, vor. Vor is another paraphilia. This one I had never heard of. This is when a person is uh, excited by the concept of being eaten whole by another person or sometimes another thing or creature. Soft vor refers to this, except there's no violence involved. It's very clean and wholesome. The person that's into this could be the perpetrator, they could be the victim, or they could just like to watch this. However, if you've never heard of this, you're probably confused because, and trust me, most people are, if they aren't familiar with this, because it, no, it's not possible. Most of the fantasies that go along with this paraphilia are not physically possible. And so this one is actually not in the same realm as cannibalism or anything like that, because this community is mostly dedicated to artwork and pictures depicting this. And to me, as long as nobody's getting hurt, again, as long as it's all consensual, then hey, I have no issue with this. For example, there's several Reddit forums I found that are often just sharing drawings of this. In fact, I will share one because there's one called r slash wholesome vor, and I just thought that was so precious. And there's just these cute little pictures of what we're talking about here. And mostly what they're doing on these forums are just role playing with each other. So yeah, this one is bizarre to the average Joe as most people don't know what this is and would have a hard time with the concept. Okay, we're almost done with tier one. The next one is your favorite female character. And I will be honest with you, I don't get this one at all. I assume my best guess on this one is that you just cannot look up your favorite female character from a book, movie, multiverse, whatever without finding somebody on the internet disparaging her or objectifying her or just generally trolling and hating on her and ruining the whole thing for you. But I'm not completely sure. So if anybody knows specifically what this one is referring to, and if I'm wrong, please let me know down below and I will try to make a correction in part two. Okay, and here's the last one for tier one. What were the velociraptor sounds in Jurassic Park? This one is amazing. This one is actually pretty funny. It's not that disturbing, but it will change the way you look at this beloved movie. Some of the little barks that the velociraptors do, I mean, of course, like everything in movies, it's all sound effects. And the sound effect they used to get this little barking sound that the velociraptors did to each other was the sound of tortoises having sex with each other. And this is the sound that tortoises make and they used it for the movie. If I don't get copyright claimed, I will try to include a clip of what I'm talking about here. Okay. 
Okay, so that was just tier one and the most well-known do not research topics in this do not research iceberg. Therefore, I am a little scared to make the next one because this one got a little gnarly sometimes. Next time we'll be diving into something called Gavage, uh, Kevin wears leg injury, the cheese grater image, and a lot more. And no, I don't know what any of those things are yet. Please, 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 if you would like the video and leave me a comment, it really helps in the algorithm, the mysterious YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much to all my patrons on the screen right now. Special shout out to Top Tiers, Colin Holmes, Deck of Cards, Creep Me Out, Michelle Valdovinos, Tom L, JJ, Dirty Kitty, Dawn, Quasi Eli, Little Kittle Cat, Whimsicott Fan, Delta Wolf 776, and Mitchell Meyer. Thank you guys. See you next time.